Welcome to VR Patients, the exciting platform where you can hone your critical thinking skills treating real-life patients without real-life consequences. To run the VR Patients platform, you need to be using a 64-bit version of Google Chrome. We are not compatible with phones or tablets. Do not create an account on the web page. Wait to receive an email inviting you to VR Patients. Click on the Accept Invite link. This will take you to the End User License Agreement. Read or scroll to the bottom of the agreement. Select I agree with this license agreement. You will be taken to a login screen. Fill in your first and last name and set a password. Passwords should be a minimum of eight characters and contain uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and numbers. When you select Create Account, you will be taken to a homepage, app.vrpatients.com. Scenarios will become available on your page when your instructors assign them to your account. When you are alerted to an assigned scenario, log in to VR Patients and the scenario will be available. You will see important information about the assignment. When ready, click the Run button, and the scenario will begin the loading process. During the loading process, you will be presented with information about the scenario. When the loading is completed, the Start button will appear. Select the Start button, and you will be transferred to the scene where you can begin assessing, monitoring, and treating the patient. Use the View widget in the corner to move around the patient or examine the patient from a different location. Use the Assess tab to access PPE. Dialog allows you to communicate with the patient. Cheryl. 63. Just before breakfast, one hour ago. No. High blood pressure and high cholesterol. When you select the stethoscope, the cursor becomes the bell or diaphragm of the stethoscope. Move it to an area of the chest wall to hear the lung sounds and hear heart tones. Reposition yourself behind the patient for the posterior sounds. Selecting the physical assessment allows you to examine different body parts and see information the scenario author has provided. To examine the pupils, select the pen light and shine it on the pupils to see their reaction. Select Palpate Pulse to assess the pulse strength. The cursor becomes a gloved hand, and as you move the cursor over the pulse points, a strength of pulse scale will be visible. When you select Spinal Assessment, the cursor changes to a gloved hand. You can roll unconscious patients to assess the spine. For conscious patients, you are taken to a posterior view allowing you to palpate the spine.
Clothing can be removed for visual inspection. The Monitor tab allows you to gather vital sign information. You can connect the patient to the monitor via the ECG tab. To obtain a 12 lead, select ECG 12 lead. To defibrillate, choose monitor, defib, select energy setting, charge. <laughs> To perform chest compressions, select Treat, Procedures, Compressions, The Rate, then Administer. To administer a medication, select Treat, Medication. Select the medication, Route, the unit type, the dose, Administer. Oxygen is found under the Treat tab. Select a delivery device, the flow rate, then administer. To initiate an IV, select intravenous therapy under the treat tab. Select the site, side of the body, needle gauge, fluid to administer, tubing size, rate of administration, and bag size, then select administer. To perform a vagal maneuver, select Treat, Procedures, Vagal Maneuver. To perform a nasal swab, select Treat, Procedures, Nasal Swab. For trauma treatments, select Treat, Interventions, Type of Treatment, Location, Administer. If you choose to re-examine an injury, you can remove the treatment by using the inspector. Select the location, the treatment if multiples were applied, then remove the intervention. You can transfer the patient to a new scene and continue treatment. When the case ends, you will receive a debriefing assessment. Thank you for watching this VR Patients video.